Okay, so one of the members asked today a very good question. And he asked that, suppose there is a patient on ventilator, on control mode ventilation, and we need a blood gas. And in it, we see that the PCO2 is a little bit high or PCO2 is a little bit low. And then to adjust that carbon dioxide or PCO2, we do a ventilator setting change, like change in the tidal volume or respiratory rate or inspiratory expiratory ratio like that. Now, when we should do the next ABG to see the effect of this ventilator change? After how much time we should do? So the general consensus and the, what the literature says that you should wait at least 30 minutes. So half an hour after the initial ventilatory settings change, you should do a repeat ABG to see the, whether the change is taking place or not or what changes is having. That means if you do very quickly after 10 to 15 minutes, it will not reflect the change. Allow the time so that the gases exchange comes to an equilibrium. So at least 30 minutes you should wait. You can do a little later also, but at least after 30 minutes you should do a blood gas uh, once you do a ventilator setting change on the ventilator so i hope this clarifies do read more about it